What's up everybody? Hope you guys are having a marvelous day. There is a lot that we need to talk about, so let's do this. The first thing I want to talk about is that my friends and I, we saw Avengers Endgame yesterday and oh my god, pew, mine exploded as to everything that happened during that movie, y'all. I'm not spoiling anything, I just gotta say, it was so badass. My One of my, my roommates, she cried during the movie, but again, that is so badass movie. I mean, I even got the shirt on and everything, but yes, if you have not gone to see Endgame, you need to go see it like ASAP because there is so much to see in there. And Stanley's cameo, it was so phenomenal. I loved it. It was so funny. Guys, again, Endgame was so badass. I will love to go see that movie again. It will be phenomenal. As they say, Avengers, assemble. The second thing I want to talk about is about Maria uh, Butina. She basically, uh, if you don't know, she's basically a Russian gun rights activist who pleaded guilty to conspiracy uh, to act as a under-registered uh, agent for the Russian uh, government in the U.S. Now, she was just sentenced to 18 months in prison, although she'll be credited for at least nine months. Uh, she's already served, which is kind of crazy. Now... The U.S. District Judge uh, Tanya uh, Chutkin said she agreed to with prosecutors that uh, Butinia wasn't just a graduate student trying to learn about the whole U.S. political system, but rather gather information about Americans who could influence U.S. policy and relay that to the Russian official for the benefit of the Russian government. At the same time, where you know Russia was trying to interfere with like the U.S. elections. Henceforth, Donald Trump. You know what I'm saying? Now, Butina, she was the uh, she was deported from the U.S. Once she will be completed for, with her prison sentence, and once that happens, she would not be allowed back to the U.S. within 10 years. Now, knowing anything, some might have and should be able to get back in within like five years, or so give or take. But who knows what's gonna happen? And at 30 years old, she has been in jail. Well, she's been arrested in mid-July 2018. Now, she pleaded guilty in December of 2018 and agreed to, co you know, cooperate with the government as well. Her lawyers agreed she shouldn't face any uh, additional prison time or anything else like that, but they were ranging it from about zero to six months and asked the judge uh, to, you know, instead sentence, sentence her to a time where she's already served and have her going back to Russia. Now, in remarks from the judge on Friday, uh, Butina said that she never intended to hurt one. She just basically wanted to come to the U.S. and get a degree and in the process build up her resume and improve U.S.-Russia uh, relations by attending conferences and organizing friendship dinners. Uh, I don't know about that now. Now, she said she wanted to... She wanted a future career in the international policy. At the same time, she wanted to mend relations with while improving her own resume. So she built bridges between her motherhood and the country that she grew up in. And prosecutors, they wanted to give her a higher sentence. But at the same time, they were like, you know what, let's do 18 months, deport her, and that kind of thing. They argued on many occasions about this as long as way. And, you know, with the whole campaign contributions and like tax file and all that kind of things it's basically as like a foreign official but again I, we have all this going on and it's just crazy knowing about this you know people are like spies and everything coming into the country same thing goes for us going over to other countries as well it's just crazy and who knows what's going to be happening now this next story there's just no words to describe this as to basically idiocracy but Trump apparently defended the uh, Charlottesville white supremacist people again so on Friday Trump uh, defended the white supremacists who rallied in Charles uh, Charlottesville Virginia in 2017 and who promoted violence that led up to the death of Heather Heyer uh, at the hands of one of the neo-nazis now, Trump said that, you know, he was saying people were there protesting by to the taking down of the Confederate Army uh, commander, Robert E. Lee. Everybody knows that. 
Mm, okay, okay. Now, he and he was saying this to reporters outside the White House, uh, making no reference to the white supremacists who organized the event. And Trump also used his comments on Friday to defend the remarks from a press conference shortly after the, the riot, you know, in which he said that there were some fine people on both sides uh, of the incident. Mm, 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 okay. Um, while the Unite the Rally uh, was normally centered around the removal of the statue, the rally was in fact organized by white supremacists and white nationalists. Uh, former Ku Klux Klan Grand Wizard David Duke even attended and spoke having, you know, previewed the rally as, you know, saying to take our country back. Now, the night before this, uh, white marchers also carried torture, torches around the streets of Charlottesville and chanted, Jews will not replace us. And the Ku Klux Klan held a, sign, a slogan, Blood and Soil, which is a translation of a Nazi slogan. Trump insisted that in 2017, uh, this reaction was answered perfectly and added that many generals here at the White House and many people thought of the generals that, uh, that they think Lee may be of their favorite general. Let's just basically say racism because that's what's going on in our nation every single day, every single hour, every single minute. Knowing about this, this is a president that people cho chose for. I didn't choose for him, but this is a president that other people chose for. This is what's going on in our nation. When he is out of office, I will be so happy. He should have been impeached the moment he got into office. Hell, he should have been impeached the moment he won that election, okay, for everything he has done. There is so much that we have in our nation that people think, oh no, this is not going on. Honey boo child, it is going on, okay? Bless your heart, it is going on. Now, there's a lot to say and a lot to do, but I'm just one voice. We can all make a difference with this in so many ways, okay? But again, what are you guys thoughts about, you know, if you saw Avengers Endgame, what are your thoughts on it? You know, did you cry? Did you laugh? What did you think about it? What do you guys think about Marie Butina? What do you guys think about Trump defending the Charlottesville, uh, you know, white supremacists and everything else along the way? Also, Taylor, uh, Taylor Swift, I always say it's Taylor Cruz, but Taylor Swift came out with a new song called Me featuring Brandon Urie. And apparently people are saying that she is coming out the closet, but... Who knows? There's a lot to be said about this video and everything else on the way. Also, what do you guys think about Joe Biden running for presidency? You know, after hearing all of the the stories about him and everything else on the way, what do you guys think about that? I just want to know you guys' opinion. But like, share, comment, subscribe, let people know I am out there for you guys because I am always out there getting a good word for you guys because I want that for you guys as well. Okay? And whenever you hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you know that I always have a new video out every week. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a marvelous day. I love you guys. Peace out.